Okay, so here we are finally finishing up. I'm getting ready to work on the footer in the last of this series of videos. And so let's take a look at the website. We've got the header set up. We've got the call to action here to book online, about us section, services, images. We've gone through how to set up and work with all of these different sections. So the only thing that's left right now is the footer. So let's uh, play with that for a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click back up here. This is in the preview mode. I'm gonna click on edit site. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the footer. There's two ways of working on that. One would be over here on the right hand side where I would just click over into the editable menu and click on footer. And this then would bring me down to the footer and tell me what's there right now. So he, these are the elements that I have that to work with in this particular footer layout, which is sort of centered. Um, and then there is also, um, so we've got the color, the, basically it's black and white. You can edit the colors if I want. Um, which we're in blue, so we're going to keep that the same because if we change it here, then we change it everywhere. So let me go back to where I was. I don't know why I did that. That was not that is smart, but we're going to leave that alone. So I'm going to exit out of that here, go back to website, scroll back down to footer. So this is how you navigate around if you do something silly and click out of where you want to be. All right, so I'm in my footer and here's what's in the copyright section. And let's see how much, let me see how much information I can put in here. So uh, I'm sort of rambling here, so just bear with me. So here I am, this is, this is what's showing up in the standard. Now I'm also, before I do that, I'm gonna show you the three different options or the four different options that are available to you in terms of the predefined layouts. Now within GoDaddy, these are the four layouts that you have. There's not, unless you hire someone to do some custom HTML coding for you, this is what it is. And so you need to work within these three layout or these four layouts. So let's take a look and see what they are. So I've got this one right here, which is the standard. Most of them are gonna be displayed this way. Then I also have this second one and it looks exactly the same. There must be something different in what the options are. I really am not, honestly not clear as to why this, they look, these look identical. Then there's this third one, which again, is, it's narrower, but it looks pretty similar. And then there's the fourth layout here, which is the one you would want to choose if you have a local business. So like a brick and mortar business where people are gonna be visiting you, where you want people to be able to find you. So if you're a massage you know, parlor like this site is, if you are a, an auto repair shop or a hair salon or you know, a dentist or a doctor or anyone where, any business where people are actually going to your physical location, then you're gonna to want to use this particular layout. So we've got the menu items here, and I will go through that in a minute in terms of how to add or subtract from those. Um, we've got your address, your phone number, and then your copyright notice. And that's pretty much what shows up. And then there is a, I'm gonna click through and into this one because this is the one I'm gonna work with. And I'm gonna click done. Okay, so I've chosen this menu. So there's a footer note here. So the footer note would be what you would use. Maybe you want to say serving Northern California. Or, you know, or actually like serving um, Reading and surrounding areas. Um, and it would be helpful if I could spell, but we will surrounding areas. Okay. So you might would put something like that in there as a way to help identify the, the area that you're working. So if you could say Redding, California, or you want, it might want to list a couple of your main cities that you're trying to attract 
for your business. That helps with your search engine optimization. It helps you with Google Maps and getting found online, especially if you're local focused. Not a really big deal in here in terms of what you're able to do within the GoDaddy um, ecosystem, but it you want to might you might as well leverage it. So then you're also going to be able to add your social media accounts if you want to. So um, you don't have any attached here, so it's not giving you the up. Oh, so I'm, I'm lying here. So if you want to use those, you would click this on. Now we already have an element that is just social media set up here, but if you want to include it in your footer instead, this is where you would do it. So we're just going to put facebook.com. Let me see, I'm going to just copy this here. No, it's not going to let me do it. And we're just going to put facebook.com and that's fine. And we're going to put twitter.com. They're not going to let me do that. I'm going to have to put something in there. Um, I don't even know what to put. Test. So, and then the icon shows up there. So it's not going to show up in the footer because you have it here. So this is interesting that uh, this is the first time I've actually done this in this footer component. So the icons are going to show up where you have the element installed. So if you did not have the element, oh, actually look at this. So it's showing up here in this element here, which is the social media element. And it's also showing up in your footer. So you don't need them in both places. If you are, uh, so in this particular case, you would remove it from showing up in your menu, or you would remove this area right here. But when you're going to add wherever you're going to, if you have social profiles that you want to link to, you can have them show up in your menu or you can have them show up in um, a special area. So I'm going to, I'm going to remove this right now and um, turn that off. I'm going to click done. And then all of these elements show back up again. So what happens is that the icons will show up based on what you enter into the social accounts section. And then you've got site na navigation and your site navigation is going to, um, these are all of your different sites. You've got terms and conditions and those types of things. You are going to, in another video, I will show you how to set up your privacy policy. Um, and your terms and conditions pages because you are going to need to do that, but that's not, we're not going to cover that in this video. But in this particular case, your site navigation is showing up on your, um, up here at the top of your page. So you've got home services and contact us, and then you've got your privacy policy and terms and conditions that are showing up in your footer menu. So I'm going to go back to home for a second. I'm going to go back to the, oh, I'm going to go back to the menu here, settings, da, 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 da. let's see, it has actually been a while since I have shot this video. I'm going to go back into header, site navigation, and um, so we are going to determine where this page settings are going to show up. So let's click on page settings. And so if you want this menu to show up in the footer, again, how I got there is I went to home, I went to header, I went to site navigation. This is all in the right hand editor menu. And then I went to each one of the pages and you're able to turn it on or off based on where you want it to show up. So in this case, I'm going to click through to home. I'm going to click on this little three bar thing. I'm going to click into it. And if I want it shown in the footer, I'm going to turn it on and then I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to do the same thing. If I want services showing up in the footer, or I can make it a private page if I wanted to, which I don't want to. So then we're going to leave that. I'm going to click done. Now I've got contact us in the footer or I could make it a private page, which you would not want to do. And I'm going to click done. So private page would be something that you would set up for someone if it is maybe a special offer or you're doing something just for a particular customer that you want them to see, 
or maybe you're running an advertisement and that's it's not something that you want to see, people to see from the main menu it's something that you would use if you're tracking like from a facebook ad or something like that so now what i have here is a menu let me go back to website let me go back to preview and let me this is, i'm in the contact me page so let me go to home so now i've got home services and contact in the upper menu and note it remember that there was those two little eyeballs that were saying that you can't see terms and conditions and privacy policy in the header menu but if i scroll down to this bottom section now I've got my entire menu showing up. I've got home services, contact us, privacy policy and terms and conditions. So it's really pretty simple to set up. Not a lot of options in terms of what you're able to do. You might wanna play with seeing how much content you can actually put in um, some of these areas. But uh, you know, in, 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 like if I were to change into this particular layout, it is possible, not probable, but possible that there might be able, an option to put a lot more stuff in here. I don't know how many, I, I don't know how long. Yeah, actually you can make this bigger. So this would be a place then that you might want to put, you know, serving the areas that you serve for your local focused business. So you could put, you know, ready, you know, serving, Reading, California, Cal Palisadro. Uh, and this, doing this in this area right here will really help with your local SEO from a Google perspective. So that was the only reason why I wanted to play with that. Uh, but you can put other types of things in here. You can center it, you can put links in here. So that then would be really some of the differences between some of the different layouts. So let me kind of repeat through that. I rambled a little bit through this. Um, and so again, you've got four different layouts of menus. This one right here is this top one where everything is centered and you can play with you, the element bars and making sure. And when I say that, I mean that, let me click back over here. It, so you can in this you've got some control here in terms of whether you're going to link something whether it's bolded um, not a lot of options to center for some reason but um, this is bullet points um, yeah a little bit of a downside to using GoDaddy but you can you can kind of get the idea in terms of what you're able to do in this particular section so if I were to switch back over to the footer again, let me go back through those four footers. Clicking in, here's my layouts. So you can see what I did is I added some serving the areas. Again, that's gonna help with your search engine optimization. And here's how it looks differently based on each of your different footer types. So you can put different types of things in there. So it is a little bit more flexible than I originally thought. Um, and you are able to work within the context of this copyright bar and maybe what you want to do is you want to move this copyright bar over to the footer to the additional comment section so that then this would be um if i move this over here this would be in the footer note you would add this delete control v uh, oh, it sees the limit is too much, so I can't do that. But uh, you just, just play with it. So what I'm showing you here is just some ideas and some of the different options that you have. So you're going to have to choose, do you want the centralized layout? Do you want, if you're a local business, you definitely want to have your, um, your address in there and play with the different ones based on how you like them, whether the social content shows up, shows up in there. And then what do you want in the menu? You can turn it on, you can turn on or on, on and off. What is, what menu items are included or pages are included in the, in the footer menu. So if you have any questions, give me a shout or comment below. And I eventually will be putting all of these together into one 
can you know longer video maybe about an hour long so so that we're going to take you through